All right, hi everyone. This is Mo here. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. I'm in a field of canola again. Um, I know now that it's called canola and not cannoli. Um, also, there's some people that call it rapeseed. I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. Anyways, I'm really down low in this field because it's really windy outside. So I hope this will like shelter some of the noise. Um, I hope you'll be able to understand me. All right, the reason why I'm here is since I'm going to paint a little landscape painting of this beautiful canola field. Um, I asked you on my Instagram story and most of you said that I should paint um, the canola field, so that's what I'm, what I'm doing. And yeah, the first step is to change my sweaters since this is one of my favorite sweaters and I don't want to get it dirty. All right, one, two, three. All right, so I changed sweaters. This is the sweater from my friend Leah. She gave it to me once I left the USA. Um, it's really pretty and it's one of my favorite sweaters, but it already has paint on it. And she's an artist too, so she won't care if it gets dirty. Leah, if you see this, I miss you. Um, anyways, we are going to put the canvas on my easel now and then start to paint. Okay, so this is the general setup. I have a table that is my chair. Then I have my easel with the canvas on it some cheap oil paints, brushes, um, a glass plate which I'm going to use as my painting palette, some turpentine and linseed oil, a kitchen rack in case my hands get dirty or something, and then um, tape and a pencil that I didn't use, and um, of course a banana in case I get hungry. Okay, I forgot to mention the reason why I'm painting um, right now, because I found these oil paints Literally 12 of them for like 1 euro and 70 cents, which makes like 17 cents each or 15 cents, something like that. That is hella cheap. Don't get your expectations up too high. I feel like they are really low quality. Well, okay, they were 1 euro, they were 2 euros, so the quality won't be that good. Anyways, I painted with oil paints once and they were like really nice, like Windsor, whatever they're called, oil paints. Um, I will see how this will turn out. I was just like 1 euro 50. I'm buying this, so we'll see how this will end up. Um, probably not that great, but it's it's an experience, you know. Alright, so now that I successfully established uh, the sky, which that is just blue and white, um, my field is still looking a little rough. Uh, I think it's time for a little break, so I brought some mango flavored, not sure what this is, soda kind of stuff. Um, I think I deserve it because I did a lot, so. Cheers. But no, like, just kidding. Um, the sky actually worked pretty well because, like, sky is that's the easiest thing. But I don't know why I'm not getting this oil paint to spread on the field. Um, it's crazy. Also, the sun is setting pretty quick, so I feel like I won't be done with this uh, anytime soon. But anyways, I will continue painting, and I just hope that um, the field will work. So I'm, I'm just let it dry a little bit. I don't know what to do, and to keep working on the sky. <laughs> okay, so we just added some white clouds to our painting. I'm going to add some pink since the sky, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the sunset is pretty pink right now, so I'm going to add that and probably a little sun in the corner too. And yes, that's what I'm going to do! Um, it's 9 p.m. I just realized that the painting is still wet so I have to carry it like separately which I don't know how to do that because I have so much stuff that I gotta like carry home so I really really hope that I won't, won't like ruin it and 
like let it fall or smear it or something I really really hope um, that I will be able to transport it home safely anyways that's it of today um, I need to pee and I'll see you tomorrow Hello everyone, welcome to day two of painting with Mo in a field of canola. Uh, I hope you all are doing great. I got a haircut, my dad gave me a haircut. It's pretty short, but you know, hair grows back and I think it, it looks alright. Um, the painting had to dry for the last two days and now we're just going to continue painting. So yeah, I will show you my setup again and then we're going to start. Okay, so we have everything we had the last time. We have the easel, we have the paints and we have the canola field. Um, instead of a banana, I have a cookie today so it's gonna be great day number two Okay, so I think I'm ready to put the yellow on there for the actual flowers. I hope I don't fuck up, because it would really suck if I would fuck up. That rhymes! It would really suck if I would fuck up. Oh my god. Um, yeah, so, wish me luck. Alright, so I added the canola flowers to the painting and I'm actually surprised that it turned out pretty well. Like, look at this. I think I, I really like it. It's Of course, it's not hyper-realistic. It's more like abstract landscape painting, but I do like it. I think it's pretty. So, I think I deserve my cookies. So, I'm gonna eat my cookie. And then I will work on the mountains, on the hills. Uh, back here and on the sky and yeah then I'm and then I'm done like the flowers were actually the thing that took the least amount of time crazy guys I am done with the painting it still needs to dry so I will carry it home and hope that I won't um, let it fall or smear all over it um, anyways these paints for one year and 70 cents they were so good for the price like the value is just amazing they don't have a lot of pigment but they are still like kind of easy to work with so I really enjoyed painting with those so if you're interested in painting with oils maybe just go to your local dollar store and try to find cheap oil paints just try them out it's worth a try I really liked it Thank you. 